Hi, Larry Stewart here with Four Construction Pros at uh, ConExpo ConAg 2017. I'm with Scott Crozier in the Trimble booth. He's Director of Product Management for Trimble's uh, Civil Engineering and Construction Group. And we're talking about some pretty significant news. It's Trimble Earthworks replacing the GCS 900 system and, and coming with a whole new machine automation system. Scott, I tell, talk about the, the top line on this. What's uh, What brought this on and what's different about it? What brought this on? That's a great question, Larry. Um, we realized that uh, where we want to go, our vision with transforming the way the world works and, uh, in the civil engineering construction space, we needed to uh, bring together the office uh, and the field in real time with live collaborative models. Our machine control platform that we currently have today uh, was not, not up to spec where we want to take the machine control industry in the future, and so we went about creating a whole new platform. Okay. Uh, we created a new display a new um, machine control uh, platform independent of the display and uh, new uh, sensors that gave us high speed, high accuracy to improve the controls and performance of the system. That We went to an Android operating system that people are somewhat familiar with today, a large touchscreen display, again to make it easier for people to use. Um, and then we, we wanted to decouple the user interface from the p positioning solution. We needed to have uh, higher processing capability in our positioning engine uh, so that we could get to the level of automatics and the performance that we're starting to see the field is expecting now. Um, so part of that also meant that we needed high performing sensors to get the level of automation we were after. Okay. And a key part of that is the release of the uh, Earthworks and support for automatics uh, on an excavator in the aftermarket. Okay, okay, so that's that's really a developing part of this too. Automatics and excavators is relatively new in the marketplace. That, that's correct, yeah. There is uh, some of the machine manufacturers have this capability um, out of the factory. Uh, we wanted a solution that was capable in the aftermarket, and uh, so that's what we had to create a platform that was capable of doing that. Okay, all right. Well, what's a, a an owner and a user going to see different about a system like this as opposed to what he's been used to before from Trimble? Uh, so the first thing he's going to notice is a large sunlight, sunlight readable display. He's going to see... Uh, Fantastic new graphics, uh, 3D uh, user interface on the graphics, similar to what you can see up here mm -hmm. on the screen. Mm -hmm. And um, he's going to have the ability to use touch screen and also the ability to run his own application. So it's an Android display. We have the ability to bring in any third-party Android application as we want and put that into our system. Really? Um, so we can get some extensibility with the platform. Just to ha have the ability to run apps essentially on that monitor. That's correct. Huh. You can have a PDF viewer in there. You can see PDF files. You could ha run an email client. Uh, wh whatever was, whatever the customers after really. We're on the excavator system, the, the uh, definitely responds faster. So we were seeing the high performance operators were almost outperforming the system. Mm. Um, there was just enough lag in there that they would be able to operate faster than the system. So okay. we, we wanted to clear that up with uh, high processing capability and high performing sensors. Uh, we also wanted to add automation um, so that for the final strokes, uh, the final the fine grade of an excavator, we could get down to kind of the quality of a surface that you may expect out of, uh, you know, larger machines or bladed type machines. Okay. And uh, that's really, you know, with that capability, we now see that these machines become more versatile, uh, may not have to bring in some of these machines for the final finish. Okay, all right. And the, the, the automatics for excavators, is that similar to, I'm assuming similar to what we've seen with Caterpillar's uh, grade with assist where uh, the operator's just sticking in essentially and the machine takes over control of the bucket, the, the cutting edge position yeah, essentially. Yeah, that's great. When the operator gets close enough to grade, mm -hmm. uh, he then pulls the trigger finger in and then he pulls the stick in and the system keeps the bucket teeth right on grade, right through the complete stroke. Wow, and is that going to be retrofitable to excavators? It is a retrofitable solution, so uh, majority of excavators are pilot controls, unlike the dozer systems, which are mostly EH controls now, so we have to fit a pilot valve, uh, completely retrofitable by the SciTech dealer, mm -hmm. and uh, then we drive the valves from there. Yeah, so simplicity of use. So a key thing was... Uh, with the, the workforce changing the way it is today and your workforce coming on board, we wanted to make sure we had a, a system that was simpler to use. We're seeing adoption of grade control increasing in the market. Training is becoming um, a large part of rolling a new platform out and uh, machine control into construction um, into construction sites. So we wanted to create a user interface that was much simpler and familiar uh, and had onboard training uh, so that people could kind of navigate around the software themselves, understand how the system worked, mm -hmm. and with very little uh, downtime, 
uh, an operator could be up to speed with uh, the full functionality of the system. Yeah, starting with that uh, that that um, cell phone like kind of interface, you know, I mean, you've immediately got some familiarity there. Exactly. And it sounds like you built some training and, and info and, and uh, FAQs into. Yeah, the, there's the some uh, I queries built into the um, okay. software. There is the ability to run through um, a small uh, tutorial on the display, mm -hmm. and then obviously the online help. Um, with the ability for the connect system to be connected um, mm -hmm. is all right there at your fingertips with online videos to help you work through it. Okay, all right. Have you facilitated uh, increased use of that online, uh, or that connectivity that gives you online health? I mean, how are, how are we encouraging users of these systems to make sure that they're connected? Um, so, uh, yeah, the, the whole goal is, is through our uh, dealer channel, SciTech, yeah. do a fantastic job of getting all of the contractors uh, construction companies up to speed with the Trimble technology. They uh, support the customers and then they will be driving and selling the value of the connectivity, not only for the onboard training, but the ability then for a SciTech, uh, any, any support calls or help calls they have, uh, they can be in their office, see what's going on on the screen, oh, okay. and uh, be able to support the customer in that way. So without having to make it out to the site, they get all the information they need, uh, almost as if they visited the site.